today we're gonna talk about adjusting speed on your tape deck this is gonna be i'm gonna try to be fast this video i know i like to ramble but real quick recently i just picked up a denon dr m33 hx from a thrift shop near me go as much as you can guys because seriously like the more that you go the higher likelihood of picking up something nice is this thing has dolby b dolby c mpx filtering it has a, a special counter that is minutes and seconds which i never saw before it's got three heads most importantly it's direct drive so um, with a direct drive turntable just like on a record player the motor speed needs to be adjusted for not only your liking but also accuracy so i was able to fix this turn i mean this right uh, <laughs> this tape deck in like five seconds seriously the whole process probably took about five minutes from unscrewing it to locating it uh, to locating the motor to adjusting the speed to comparing it to a digital file and that was it putting it right back together so i'm gonna walk you through the, the, uh, these steps i'm gonna do it two times one me just explaining it giving my little hints and then two I'm actually going to take the camera and show you what, what it's all about. So first thing to note, if you have a, just say you have your cassette, right? This is Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Deja Vu, hell of an album, man. Uh, I wish I had the jacket for it, but I just found this like in a huge pile of tapes down in the, the local thrift shop, but definitely worth it still. Um, so one thing you have to, uh, one thing I would recommend is if you have a test tape, go ahead and use that but i don't have a test tape so what i actually did is i got deja vu um i have the cd on that so i ripped it uh onto my computer so i can easily play it and then i threw it into my tape deck so i can compare back and forth you know uh, a tempo of a song and then i would play it on because on, on the cassette deck and if it was the same tempo i knew i was good to go well there's actually some tape decks with three slots but you're gonna find the one with um the the side that is playing too fast or too slow so for me there's only one so i went to the back side the opposite side of that and i located the motor they're very easy to find um they look really familiar i'll throw some links in the description of what the motors actually look like so you'll be able to easily spot yours in your cassette deck and then inside there there's a little uh screw compartment it's like a tiny little hole covered up with a black like foam almost you need a slotted screwdriver not a phillips head screwdriver you're able to sort of peel back those rubber walls it sort of looks like this and then you're able to peel back those rubber walls and you'll see, feel inside is the actual screw and that's where you're able to turn so when then when you pull the screwdriver out those walls kind of go back it's just like rubber um, or like foam walls and you just go right through it you'll find where the screwdriver starts to like hold and you just want to make a tiny minute movement I mean seriously like from one o'clock to two o'clock that's it that'll make a huge difference in the center if you go from like one o'clock to three o'clock it's gonna way too much one to two one and one and a half you know so be really careful because if you go all the way too much, it's just going to be a pain in the butt getting that right back. So make my new tiny little changes no matter how fast or how slow it is. Because if you go, just so you went to the right to, and you wanted it to go slower, but right actually makes it faster. Now you're even faster than when you started with. So just make as many small movements that you can until you get really familiar with this. One thing to note, if you're using a metal screw, screwdriver, which you probably are, the transformer is quite often right behind that motor and if that transformer is getting power or had power in the past like five days because that stuff holds the power that screwdriver can make a full connection from the motor to the transformer through the metal screwdriver into your hand and it'll give you a shock so you really want to make close attention pay close attention to make sure that you are not in any risk of getting hurt with that you can wrap the screwdriver with duct tape make sure that uh, your cassette deck has been turned off or just be really really careful to not make that full connection you'll see when i show you my screwdriver doesn't actually reach i i it wouldn't be able to reach the transformer and the motor at the same time so i got pretty lucky with that but if your screwdriver is long enough to make the connection from the transformer to the motor you know while you're trying to adjust the speed that's bad news you do not want to be part of that so uh you're gonna see in the video that i show you next i'm just gonna grab my camera and, and go right to the tape deck of how it's done so you just take off the lid find the motor put the screwdriver in turn it call it a day check the speed of your tape deck that's what i did compared it to a uh, mp3 file and that was it man okay so once we actually get the tape deck open you'll see First of all, just marvel at how awesome the inside of one of these look. The side that you actually want to replace, because uh, a lot of tape decks have two sides. So you want to see, right here, I'll get my flashlight. Notice how there's a little bit of an indentation on this motor. This is the motor that you want to adjust. You might have two or three of these, depending on your unit. Uh, luckily, I just have one, so I know which one I'm working with. This one is mainly, I think, for fast forward or rewind, but the tape 
uh, speed is affected when I'm playing the tape, so that's why I'm adjusting this motor here. You'll notice that it has a little bit of a groove just big enough for a screwdriver to put in. Now once you put it in, left or right might uh, increase the speed or decrease the speed, so you're going to have to test for yourself, but really once you put it in, that much of an uh, that much of a movement will make a drastic difference. So you want to check it as soon as possible. You don't want to like over go overdo it because then it's going to be way too fast or way too slow. One thing you want to make note of: this is a metal screwdriver. That's the transformer. If the metal screwdriver is touching uh, this, the motor, and your skin, you're going to get zapped. So you got to be careful, man. So if your screwdriver can't fit in here, notice how I can get in here and make all the adjustments that I need to, and uh, simply pull my screwdriver away with no problem. See how I can fit in here. If it couldn't fit in here, the screwdriver was too big or something, either wrap the hell out of this thing with tape or take this entire assembly out, adjust uh, as needed, put it back in, test, and then secure all the screws back. But you do not want to complete this circuit because that will be extremely dangerous. This thing can carry power even when it's not um, plugged into the wall. Uh, so you got to unplug it, let it discharge. Like I let it discharge for over a week. Um, and now I'm here making these adjustments just in case you do not want to get zapped by old technology like this It'll hurt like, like, like hell. It shouldn't kill you, but it'll definitely hurt. Make your adjustments like I said Right in that that little slot you got to go right through there and you'll feel the screw It moves really easy a tiny little bit of movement. That's all you need. So yeah, man. Good luck. That was pretty easy um, Yeah, like I said just be safe man The worst thing that can happen is you getting a really bad shock and the greatest thing that you can happen is getting accurate tape results. So weigh those two together and realize that you need to take the proper precautions. You do not want to hurt yourself doing this. That would be pretty ridiculous. Take your time. Compare the files. If you have a test tape, use that. Just use your, your own metronome. You'll figure it out. And um, yeah, man. Also, if you have any questions about cassette tapes, vinyl records, CDs, let me know. I am like constantly checking my phone for updates. I get notifications for comments, subscribers, anything like that. I get an email and I get an, uh, an, an app notification. So I'm definitely um, interested in helping you guys. I've been around this stuff forever. So if there's anyone who needs any help with anything or any video requests, let me know. Uh, last thing to note, I would say do not... Um, Plug everything back in, throw the lid on, and start playing tapes unless you're 100% sure that that speed is dead on because you kind of only want to do this once. If there's any changes in like humidity or you bring this like on a road trip or something and it's bouncing a bunch um, in your in your truck, you got to make sure that you verify the uh, integrity of the speed again because those things can kind of um, change and fluctuate the speed of your tape deck. So. Uh, it's kind of like general maintenance. You probably just say so you clean your tape heads every month You might have to double check your speed every two months. It's something like that. So um, Yeah, man have fun playing tapes and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks